We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of the Jefferson Cougars, Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, your team at the start of the game looked very well at that opening drive, kept it competitive for a little bit with Martinsburg, but later in that game, Martinsburg able to pull away, get the win. What were your takeaways, though, for your side of the game and what you liked from your team? Um, I would say that, you know, the way they played at the beginning of the game, um, you know, I thought they fought hard at the beginning of the game. I thought we played well. I thought we were able to do some things that we thought we were able to to get in the game. Um, you know, going back looking at film, I think we just we we just didn't all the way complete what we wanted to complete as far as assignment wise goes. And when we got to certain places, um, missing tackles, you know, things that happened. You know, just a, just a total. Just we just didn't totally get everything done that we need to get done. Um, as far as everybody goes, you know, whether it be coaches, whether it be players, anything, we just did, we just didn't complete the task that we had at hand, and we let the game get away from us at that after that point. So, coach, what are some of the uh, focuses this week after the game, and how do you clean some of those things up heading into this week's game? Oh, uh, you know, just just bounce back. You know, the key thing is bounce back. It's still early in the season. Uh, we got six games left. Like I told the kids after the game, we got six games left. Um, we're still our, our eyes are still on the prize. Is what we our goals are, are for the season. Um, get back in the playoff. Try to accomplish to get a home playoff game, and work from there. Um, so to get refocused, um, we watched the film um, on Saturday. Uh, talked a little bit about some of the missed assignments that we had. Um, everybody. Um, including the players and coaching staff, took accountability for everybody's um, or what we what we messed up on as far as what that goes, uh, and just move forward. I mean, that's the whole thing. Just move forward. We can't sit and lay in one loss. Uh, right now, we got six games left, so we're just going to push forward. Uh, today's an opportunity to get better, so we're going to get better today in practice. Get ready for Hedges or Eagles. As you just said this week, taking on Hedgesville, who are coming off a win against Washington. Uh, what have you seen so far this year from Hedgesville? Um, you know, well, um, they have they have some some good athletes on the team. They have you know the Martin kid, uh, who's pretty good. Uh, I think I believe the quarterback's name is Parker. I think so. I'm not, I'm not sure. Last name might be Parker. Um, he throws Harper. the ball. Was it Harper? Yeah, Harper. Yeah, he throws a good ball. Um, defensively, they just try to get after you. Um, you know, they try to get after you with the Fleming kid. Um, they'll blitz you, do different kinds of stunts. Uh, they try to pressure you to get rid of the ball. So you know, they're gonna they're gonna come in here off a high, off a win. Um, so when we're trying, they and we're trying to get back into the win column again. So you know, we just gotta refocus, get our energy going. Ford Hedgesville, forget the loss last week. Um, be prepared for the blitzing they're going to do um, and get ready for all the different formations and what they're going to try to show us offensively. Coach, we talked about this last week with Coach Ray and Coach Faircloth heading into that game. Both teams are 2-2. Two and two. Felt like a must-win kind of game. Obviously, you know you guys want to win every game is a must-win, but do you get that same sense uh, knowing that a loss would set you back for the playoffs? Um, I mean, yeah, a loss will set us back for the playoffs, but you know um, – you, you take it, you know. You take it one day at a time, one game at a time. So I, I believe that you know, if we go out and play a type game, we can make it'll be a very competitive game. You know, hopefully we come out on the win side. I believe it'll be a very competitive game. Um, so you know, I don't, I don't want to talk about in the, in the negative aspects of losing the game. What we have, what we would do. So we're just going to keep on. We're just going to stay positive and keep going on that side. That you know, um, we go out here. We go out here and we compete to try to win the game. So that's exactly what we want to look at. We want to look at us trying to win the game, and winning the game, and what's going to happen if, if, and if and when we win the game. Um, I'm not trying to go in this week with a negative connotation or negative attitude toward this game. Is oh my God, what are we going to do if we lose? Because then we're not thinking positive. So I'm just we're just not going to do that this week. So what's your team need to do to get the win this week? Then um, I think we need a. Uh, Come in and make sure we we do what we what we've done in the past in the last couple of games is you know get the ball to our athletes out in space, um, make sure we're getting the ball to those guys in space, 
and then defensively just make sure when we when we're around the ball and around ball carriers that we're just making plays, uh, whether it be tackling, knocking balls down, um, don't miss any assignments. Um, uh, you know, us as coaches making sure that we have every single player ready to play their position this week and putting them in the right and putting them in the right spot or right position to be successful. All right, Coach Hunter, appreciate the time and good luck this week. All right, thank you. Thank you.